Hi guys! Outdoor spaces often pose challenges for traditional Wi-Fi networks, with signal degradation, interference, or limited coverage range. So wish you could extend your internet coverage. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an outdoor mesh Wi-Fi network using a wireless bridge and PoE technology. And ready to optimize your system design? We are fast cabling and we provide free consultation. Send us your problem through the link down in the description box below and unlock the power of efficient system design and let our expert craft a tailored solution for your needs. Mesh networking is a decentralized network topology where multiple devices known as nodes they work together to create a seamless and extended Wi-Fi coverage. In a mesh network, each node serves as a rely point. They forward data to another node in the network, enabling devices to communicate with each other and access the internet. Mesh also allows you to extend your Wi-Fi range and eliminate the dead zone by strategically placing multiple nodes throughout your spaces like your home or office. And each mesh node will add us a Wi-Fi access point and creating a mesh network that expand the coverage and enhance the signal strengths. So now let's move on to the demonstration board and I will show you the setup for today. So behind me is the whole setup. I'm going to connect a wireless access point at the edge with those wireless network bridge. Now this is a device that can connect multiple networks wirelessly and allowing for the extension of network connectivity between two or more separate networks. It has consists of two main components, the transmitter and the receiver. Now the transmitter is normally connect with the main router with the Ethernet cable, while the receiver is placed at a remote location, typically where we want to establish a new access point. So the transmitter will wirelessly send the Wi-Fi signal from the main router to the receiver and effectively extending the network's coverage range. So there are many advantages of using the wireless network bridge. First, reduce wiring complexity. Wireless connection can eliminate the need for a running long Ethernet cable across distances and making it ideal for outdoor setup, especially beneficial in outdoor area where running cables can be challenging or impractical. Second is the cost effectiveness. With reduced need of extensive cabling and infrastructure, you can save money on installation and maintenance costs. So as you can see in our setup, you may wonder why are we adding this PoE injector in between the wireless access point and the wireless bridge? Because some of the edge devices are actually only support PoE like this wireless access point here. So PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows power and data to be transmitted through a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for a separate power unit. And for this one, we are adding a 60 watt PoE injector in between. It has 100 to 240 voltage DC input and the power is already built in. So that's why you can see I only have to simply plug in the AC outlet and start using it without buying an external power supply. And also you can support 1000 megabit per second Ethernet input port and another 1000 megabit per second PoE RJ45 output port. And you can inject 60 watts of high power to get PoE transmission for high power PoE device. And you can see this is also IP67 waterproof. The working temperature range is from minus 25 degree up to 60 degree. That's why it is ideal for an outdoor harsh environment. Now we know all the components we have in our setup. Let's do the connection together. This is the router to provide main network data. Let's use an ethernet cable to connect it with the wireless bridge. As you can see, the wireless bridge has two ports. And let's plug it into one of the LAN port. And power it up using the 12 voltage DC. 
Here we have an M and S stands for master and slave, transmitter and receiver. So I already put it on the M side for transmitter. This is the reset button. This is a single button matching the channel without a complicated configuration. So over here we have a clear indicator light. The more light you get, the better signal you have. And it's also comply with AO 2.11A and AN and AC Wi-Fi standard. Let's turn to the back. We have channel 4 now. Now I'm going to press the reset button and change the channel to number 7. So let's come over this side and do the exact same thing. It's already been powered up and connect the Ethernet cable to the edge. So we can see on this side we have channel 4. Let's change it to 7 by pressing the reset button. 7. Now we already match the channel. This is the 60 watts PoE injector. And you can see it's already been powered up. I'm going to connect it with our wireless bridge. This is the data port. Let's plug it in. And this is the PoE port. Let's connect it with our wireless access point. And you can see the indicator light is on instantly. So it's getting power and data at the same time now. As you can see, our whole setup is now done using the wireless network bridge. By using the wireless network bridge, you can set up a wireless connection at a maximum of 900 megabit per second within 3 km transmission range of no obstacles in between. And here are some more factors you need to consider in the installation of a wireless bridge. First is the range and coverage. The maximum distance supported by your wireless bridge is what you need to know. Also, you have to know if your Edge devices is PoE enabled or not. That is the environmental consideration. You need to know if you are putting your devices outdoor under cover or exposed in a harsh environment in order to select the appropriate devices. Second is the proper position of your wireless bridge. Make sure you have a clear line of sight, minimize obstacles as they can reduce signal strain and coverage. Avoid signal interference, so you need to select appropriate mounting location. Securely mount your bridge to a stable structure like a wall or pole, or at a higher elevation. Last but not least, you can easily add additional access point to the bridge as your coverage needs to grow. All you need to do is replace the PoE injector to a PoE switch so you can install more access point. And here's a video on how to install PoE devices using the wireless network bridge. And thank you so much for watching us today. I will see you next time.